Hello everybody, this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. I was a little bit busy today, so I didn't get to make a video until late. Didn't have time to really set up for the live show and the green screen. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of a montage of some little bits throughout my day today. But, let's talk about some of the weather now. So, I'm looking at the radar, and we did have some rain move through. And we're going to have some of this on and off kind of rain throughout the night as well. So, let me switch now to my computer screen. And here... We can see this loop it looks like it's going between now uh, 7 o'clock and now, which is about 8.30 by the time I'm actually recording this. So these showers move through. looks like it's still over Long Island moving out there. And we have some more coming in. Now let me switch to a bit of a broader radar. This is a very specific site-by-site -site, uh, type of radar. Now from the National, the National Weather Service, they have the National Radar, Radar Mosaic. Zooming in a little bit here, we can see we've got that little band moving through that's still right over Long Island. We've got another couple of bands moving through, but then we still have some moderate rain coming through. It's not really going to hold itself together, I don't think, as it goes into the night, but we can still see some of these on and off kind of showers and storm, kind of storms, depending on exactly where you are. The storms will be maybe a little bit more south, if anything, the convective available potential energy, CAPE, is not very high. Tiny, tiny little bit, but most of us, I'm going to say this is just going to be some showers in the overnight. So this is the low pressure here right over the, where am I moving my mouse? Moving east, and this is what's bringing all this rain with it. So let's take a look at some of these forecast models. So with the GFS, we can see nothing really too intense as it makes its way through the tri-state. This is tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., still lingering showers. Then it clears out a little bit for the afternoon. This high pressure in Canada is kind of pushing the rest of this rain out of the area here on the GFS. Then this stays in place through Friday as well. So Friday also looks like a pretty dry day. Maybe a bit breezy too with those isobars there getting fairly close together in some spots. So maybe a little bit of wind. Then for Saturday... Last week, or last weekend, I should say, it looked a little bit different, but for this weekend, when I'm looking at these, I mean, it looks like we're going to see some rain development. This is 2 a.m. on Saturday. We're starting to see, let me see if I get that out. There we go. We're seeing some of these showers come in, and this will be lasting pretty much throughout most of the day. It looks like this is 2 p.m. This is now 8 p.m., and then this is back to 2 a.m. on Sunday. This is really when that first round of some showers will be making their way out. So Saturday looks like kind of a showery day, which doesn't look like the best of days. Sunday looks better in terms of drier. However, it does look like we're going to have a lot of wind coming through. So this is what the GFS is showing. This next low pressure system coming through, it's not going to be directly affecting us yet on Sunday. So this is 2 p.m. on Sunday. See these lines? Those isobars, they're very close together, so it looks like it's going to be pretty windy on Sunday. Just still dry, the nearest precipitation is just entering western New York, western Pennsylvania. And then overnight Sunday, this is when we're going to start to see this. This is 8 p.m. on Sunday, going into 2 a.m. Monday, and then it looks like it's going to be out by the time we get to Monday. By, so your morning commute Monday looks to be fairly dry with the GFS here. Then high pressure takes in. Looks like high pressure is in control for most of the continental U.S. there. After that, the high stays in place throughout Tuesday, throughout Wednesday as well. So for the next week, or one, for next week's uh, the work week, from Monday through Wednesday at least, it looks like it's going to be in control and taking a peek a little bit beyond the seven day. Looks like that high stays in for most of the time until even over a week from today. So that's the GFS. Next with the European, a little bit of a different view. This is the 850 millibar level. So oh, let me back this up to the beginning. So you can kind of see some of these low heights there. Well, we're talking about vorticity now. Sorry about that. I thought I was on the heights. So this is 850 millibar, which is a pressure level and the vorticity in that pressure level. So here we can see a little bit of vorticity, and that means we're going to see a little bit of convection, which could mean some, or instability, I should say, which means some showers. 
So anytime you see those little yellow dots, that means there could be some showers associated with that. A little bit of vorticity. So it looks like also, uh, this one jumps quite a bit between like half a day at a time the European is jumping right now. So this one, let me start from today. There we go. There. Wednesday. So this was this morning. So this was jump. This was starting 72 hours before, and it's gonna go out to 240 hours ahead. That's what the European model can do. So we're gonna see a little bit of instability coming in overnight, but then for Thursday, that high pressure, which is right here, kind of takes control a little bit more, and then stays in place throughout Friday. But Saturday, those little specks there of the yellow, that means there could be a little bit of shower. So Saturday looks like it could be a little bit of a showery day. And then for Sunday, it's not showing as tightly compact isobars, but it's still showing this low pressure system in almost the same spot. Let me go back to the GFS in that spot. Uh, let's see here. There's the GFS. There's the arrow. So there almost at the same spot and it looks like at the same time as well so they're in fairly good agreement between those two and then with the euro uh, let me grab that slider that makes its way out still lingering into sunday or monday morning so this one the european may hint at a little bit of a wet commute for your morning commute on monday then another height kind of takes over in here for tuesday Wednesday, eh, a little bit more of artistic by the time we get to the end of the week, but Wednesday and tu uh, Tuesday, Tuesday maybe a little bit more something here. But this is still not directly precipitation. So even though there's vorticity, there may not be precipitation. The next one I want to show you here, the NAM. It doesn't go out as far. It's just going to really go out until early morning Sunday. Let me back that out. So... We are going to be seeing, and this started um, this afternoon, so we'll fast forward it till this evening, which is about now. And it's a little bit slower, so it's not initializing as well, the NAM. There's showing no precipitation over Long Island, which obviously we know there is, because on the radar it's showing there's precipitation. So this isn't something we take a look at with the forecast models, with the initialization. And the NAM is not initializing, showing well, currently, first frame of the forecast model is not lining up with what's actually out there. So this one may not be the best model run to look at, but we'll, we'll still take a, a peek here. So this is showing still overnight showers. Then by Thursday morning, most of those showers are pretty much south into Jersey. And then high pressure takes over. It looks like a drier afternoon. Dry day on Friday. And Saturday, this is 2 a.m. on Saturday, showing some of those little spotty showers come in. So that is showing a little bit of agreement with the Euro and the GFS. And then for Sunday morning at 2 a.m., it's a little bit slower on the NAM, this low pressure center. So the wind's not really coming in yet by 2 a.m. on Sunday. And if I just go back real quick here to 2 a.m. Sunday there. And 2 a.m. Sunday. Oh, this Friday is Friday the 13th. I just saw that. Didn't even know. Didn't even realize that. So Sunday. Oh, we can't get exactly 2 a.m., but this is 8 a.m. So it's going to be a little bit more advanced on the euro just because we can't get earlier to that 2 a.m. mark. It's sitting at the 8 a.m. mark. So that's the euro. That's the GFS at 2 a.m. at Sunday. And that's the NAM. Actually, they're a little bit more, at least position-wise, in agreement than I thought. It's just the GFS has it a bit more aggressive. So, overall, to, we're overnight tonight. We're going to have some spotty showers lingering a little bit into your morning tomorrow. Let me switch back to my main screen here for a sec. Actually, no, no, hold on a second. Before I do that, let me go back here. I just want to show you temperatures real quick. So this is something called MOS data. This is showing the overnight low tonight, the high tomorrow, overnight low tomorrow night, the high the next day, and the low the day after that. 
that's as far as these two that's called the MAV and the MET. These are, the MAV is the GFS, the MET is the NAMS, different names for the text output here with the MOS. Then going into the MEX, which is the extended GFS, this shows your high temperature and low temperature, the pairs there for a day. And then going into the next day, this goes out for the week. So we're seeing high temperatures getting back into seasonal for a little bit tomorrow. Upper 60s, this is it, no, the Newark airport. Every airport has their own kind of specialization or initialization with the MOS data. Upper 60s mid 60s upper 70s then by saturday this is starting to get with that rain so with that precipitation also shows a little bit more of a increase in temperature so we're getting back into the warmer upper 70s there then the low 80s and then newark's always the hotter spot in new york city in the tri-state region then it drops back down to the upper 60s the seasonal mark low 60s upper 60s and that's about uh, mid 60s there oh wait that's the that's the average which should be about 65. Then let's take a look at Islip, Long Island here. So mid 60s, mid 60s, low 70s for Saturday. So not as warm, but still a little bit above average in those low 70s. Upper 70s for Sunday. That's going to be the day that the low pressure is close, but not there yet from what I'm thinking. It's going to be a pretty uh, windy day, but still showing warm temperatures coming in. Because when you have the counterclockwise rotation of the low pressure depending on exactly where you are it could be bringing in warm air from the southwest which is kind of what it looked like it was doing and then mid 60s for monday low 60s tuesday mid 60s wednesday and that was it and then the last one is the white plains airport in the hudson valley mid 60s mid 60s low 70s upper 70s again for sunday so sunday looks like an unusually warm day Maybe a little bit breezy still, I'm going to be saying that. Low 60s Monday, low 60s Tuesday, mid 60s on Wednesday. So the weekend's going to look be a little bit above average. Now let me switch back to my main camera. So overall, it looks like it's going to be a fairly unusually warm or summer-like kind of, again, weekend. But once we get past the weekend with that next low pressure system that's going to be coming through overnight Sunday into Monday... Then the temperatures return back to seasonal for most of the week ahead there. And high pressure will be in place, so it looks like a fairly nice start to your week until you get a little bit later on in the week. So a little bit different weather podcast. I didn't have as much time to get the whole setup because I was fairly busy today. Hope you guys still enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. If you want to get more notifications with whenever I upload more videos, hit that little subscribe button below. Hit that little bell to get notifications also when I upload videos. So this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. Check back often to check for any more weather updates. Also, I'll be having a car video coming up soon. I'm going to be doing my own oil change. I'm going to try and live stream it. If I can't live stream it, I'll just post the video that I record. Have a great evening, everybody.